Just a quick announcement. Microscopes are back in stock. I know a lot of you are asking when we're going to get them back in stock. We've been out for the past two or three weeks. But the good news is we got them back in stock. So anyone who is waiting to order one, you can go ahead and order one right now. One addition that we received with the microscope is the ring light. And a lot of you have been asking, do you sell ring lights for the microscope? We made a deal with the factory and we now carry the ring light. Now, when I first started using this microscope, I purchased the ring light from Amscope, $129. This ring light is special, and the reason I paid $129 rather than paying $25 or $29 buying one off eBay is because this ring light is special. Number one, the footprint. The size of the ring light is extremely minimal. It's almost the same size as the lens, so it does not get in the way when I'm trying to solder. A lot of the cheap ones that are being sold have a big footprint, so it makes it difficult to actually put a soldering iron under it and see what you are doing. And when the ring light is big, the light is extended outside. So you're going to get a lot of light spill on the outside and not focus light on the area that you are working on. If you look at this ring light, we have 96 LEDs. And these LEDs are angled. They're angled maybe 5 degree angle or 7 degree angle, whatever the case may be, but they are angled. And the reason for the angling of the LEDs is so that light can get focused to one area. Light will get focused to one area compared to having straight LEDs where light may spill to the outside of the working area, angled LEDs will focus all the light, all the brightness, all the power to this one specific area that you are working on. The second reason why angled LEDs are good is because basically laws of physics. When light enters at 90 degree angle, it's going to bounce back up at 90 degrees, possibly creating flare or glare on your lens. Whereas if the light shines down at 5 degree angle, it's going to exit at 5 degree angle, creating less flare, less glare onto the lens of the camera. So angled LEDs are good because they focus the light on the area that you are working on, creating a shadow-free illumination, and they create less flare or glare onto the lens. And that's what makes this light special. The material on the ring light is aluminum alloy, very hard, very strong, and it's something that will last you forever. LEDs on this ring light are rated for 100,000 hours. I mean, can you imagine what 100,000 hours mean? If you are using this ring light eight hours a day, if you divide 100,000 by eight and then by 365, you will get 34 years. I'll probably be dead before this ring light dies. So that's what makes it special. Now, I paid $129 for this Amscope ring light. Honestly, I do not mind spending the money if I know that I'm going to get what I pay for. I wanted something good and light is really have the image. A lot of people ask me, how do you get such a clear and clean image? It's because of the camera, the lens and the light. The light may be 50% of the image. If the light quality is bad, you're not going to get a good image. So a combination of the camera, the lens and the light is what makes a good image. Now, $129 is a lot. Uh, I came in contact with the factory that makes those lights. It's not branded Amscope, but it's exactly identical as Amscope. And this is the new item that we got in. Exactly the same ring light. Same quality, aluminum alloy, hard, rigid. LEDs are angled, 96 LEDs, and the LEDs are rated for 100,000 hours. And it came with exactly the same light controller box. You can control the brightness from here, from 0 to 100, and on and off exactly the same. I have the Amscope one here. I have it mounted on the arm here. Look at this. This is the one from Amscope. The button is horizontal. And this is the other one. The button is vertical. Exactly identical boxes. Weight is the same as well. And the button, exactly the same. Actually, on this one, I feel like the one that we have, the button feels a lot better than Amscope. Or maybe because I've been using this for a while, the button is very soft. Ours, the button feel better. There's some resistance to that button, whereas on the Amscope one, it's soft. But we're going to have to try both ring lights to see if they are identical. Right now, the quality of the ring light is exactly the same as Amscope. Small footprint, aluminum alloy, and then you have 96 angled LEDs here. And all we have to do is test. I just want to test to see the quality of the light. And we'll go over it together. I'm going to plug the cable to our power bank here. Because we have a viewer of ours 
he placed a big order today and he always comments on our videos his name is Ari I'll give him a shout out and he was asking about the difference between the one he found on eBay and this one the one he found on eBay was the 144 LED ring light which goes for about 24 30 dollars and this one is more money so he was asking what's the difference between both and I explained to him and he bought this one because that's the way to go you are buying the $24 one off eBay you're wasting your money big footprint it's not a shadow free illumination LEDs are not angled and you're just wasting your money one thing I failed to mention is the diameter inside supports up to 50 millimeter lens so it goes from 20 to 50 and you can adjust using those three screws that you see on the sides here so let me go ahead and try the brightness of both ring lights the one from Amscope and ours we turn it on by pressing the button here and I can immediately tell this is so bright so bright I do not know if Amscope will compete with this one and I'm not even all the way up to 100 I'm at 70 look at this brightness down and brightness up I'm gonna put this all the way up to 10 and I'm gonna put Amscope also all the way up to 10 let me turn it on and all the way up to 10 it does not compare honestly it does not compare <laughs> The one that we have is a lot brighter. I do not know how I'm going to show it to you on camera, but I do not know if you can tell. But this is a lot brighter. This is a lot brighter. Maybe I can do this. Okay. This is ours. And this is the one from, from Amscope. I mean, look at the light on the wall. And I'm going to do this. This one is a lot brighter. No doubt. This is a lot brighter than Amscope. This is Amscope. And this is ours. <laughs> Big difference. Big difference in brightness. So let me try ours under the microscope and see the quality of the light. The light is 6500K, white light. <laughs> I mean, this is super bright. I do not think I'm going to use all that brightness. Maybe I can go down to 6 or 7, but I want to do it at maximum so we can see how things look like under the microscope. Right now, the brightness is too much. I cannot see anything on the screen because the brightness is out of control. Okay, let me put brightness down. Look at the quality of that light. Look at the quality of that light. Let's grab a Bensky. This is a Mercedes Bensky. And right now, I'm at one brightness, not 10, one. If I go down to zero, the light is very dim but it's not off or I can turn it off by doing this turn it on and right now I'm at zero brightness imagine this is zero brightness <laughs> zero brightness I go up to one two you're not gonna use ten trust me you're not gonna use ten ten is a lot I'm impressed I am honestly impressed with this ring light and I may switch over from using the Amscope one because this one, sometimes I feel the need of having more light and this one will provide me all the light that I need. Brightness of 10, I cannot see anything on the screen. Everything is white. So this is amazing, amazing. This is, I would say this is 10 times better than the Amscope one that I paid $129 for. And this one is about 30% cheaper. We can turn it off with this button here and brightness is controlled from here the ring light does come with the controller box and also the two prong cable that can be used in the us all right so that was a quick announcement we have a limited quantity of those lights we're going to get more but uh, the next shipment may not be here until three four weeks from now if you already purchased a microscope from us this will work perfect if you already have the same camera and lens, then you can use that ring light. You can fit a lens up to 50 millimeters and down to 20 millimeters. I do not want to make this video too long, so that's it. I'm going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.